Good morning. Welcome to Saturday morning story time. Today I'm going to read the book that started it all. Uh, Jessie. Uh, I got her over here. I, we were wondering, is she going to fall asleep or is she going to participate? She's making a little noise over here. So she's real. she's right next to me like she always is. So if you hear her, um, yeah, it's live. Can't control that. So thank you again for joining. Um, like I said, today I'm going to read uh, Jesse, my first book that I ever wrote, uh, self-published. It is available on Amazon. It is available at Barnes and Noble and is available through my website, www.jessethepitmix.com. Um, through the website, there are, all my books are on sale right now, and so are the shirts. So here we go, Jessie. 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 Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Ha! Yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say you can't believe everything you hear. Enough of that. More about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous. At least those that matter, and I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short, definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through just to wash their hair? I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime, enough said. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked, just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers, now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky they're not green. Now my best feature is my ears. They're what makes me unique. <clears throat> one always stands straight up. The other always flops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? And I love to have my face petted. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live at a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first. I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But as I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. I tried to get their attention using my ears, you know, that floppy and straight thing, and I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like Nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled at my lead, trying to get on the porch. It was wet. I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered. All of a sudden, I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. I 
I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more and the board fell off. Wow. I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole and all of a sudden, I was on the other side. I could run and run, look at her, and run. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. It was kind of scary. Being at that vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters. I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy. Here, boy. Can't you tell I'm a girl? Just look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. Oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. Hi, Jesse. Hi there. Give me a good girl. I know, I know. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there. Big dogs, little dogs, old dogs, and puppies, even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. A girl needs her beauty treatment and some water and treats. I like treats. They even petted my face. Those dogs at the shelter. And Jesse getting pampered. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady say. Then they looked at me. He stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail, I smiled, I jumped up and down, I tried to squeeze through the cage to get close to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull mom, the girl said but it says lab mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull and she can tell I'm a girl. Beautiful and smart. You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull, but she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes, they sparkle. I put on my bestest smile. Aren't you a sweetie, Mom said. See, 
I called her mom. There are a lot of them around, especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, just like any dog that is loved and cared for. Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever. Poor Jesse. Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back and they brought all of their other dogs to meet me just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so of course they loved me. All the other dogs came to meet her. Home I went with mom, girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They are so lucky they found me. Really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands, well, pause, Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big, soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. That's where she is right now, right next to me. Petting her with my foot. Oh, Jessie. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats. And she tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. All right. So Jessie's adoption story. If you have this book, you would know that besides bio and acknowledgements, I always include an informational piece about pit bulls and rescues. I also, in this book, included um, a treat recipe for um, homemade treats. And like I said, you could get this book through Amazon, you could get it through Barnes and Noble, you could get it on my website, www jessiethepitmix.com and through my website they're all on sale right now um let me get on the other side of the camera really quickly and i'll show jesse just a really quick reminder not sure where you're watching from but here in clovis and fresno in the central valley it's very hot right now and it's going to be about 110 degrees today so just a reminder, make sure those water bowls for your pets are full of water. Make sure there's a cool place they can get under a fan um, inside. Absolutely. Don't let them outside for longer than just a potty break or maybe a dip in the pool if you have a pool. All right, here we go. Let's show you some Jesse. Really? Are you going to sleep through this? Are you going to sleep through this? All right, here we go. Hi, say hi to everybody. Say hi, I'm here. Good girl. Did you like story time today? Did you like your story? You gonna wag your tail? Come on, come on, you gonna wag? Good girl, good girl, and here's Tucker. Hey, Tucker. Hey, he's in the book too. Good boy, good boy. All right, thanks for joining. Have a great Saturday, everybody. See you next week for another book reading. Bye-bye.